All right, everybody. So uh, welcome to today's virtual open day for the student takeover. Um, so first off, let me introduce myself. My name is Anna, and I'm from the Creative Media Production Program. I'm a second year right now. So I've been at PCU a couple of years now, so I'm starting to know exactly what it stands for and what it is. And I'd like to introduce also Ademi. So I'll let you say something about yourself. Um, hey everyone, uh, nice to see you all here. Uh, yeah, I'm a student of graphic design. I'm also in my second year, so I'm finishing it. And yeah, uh, maybe Shamila could tell us more about your show. Hi, my name is Shamila. Um, I study international finance and business accounting. Um, I, this is my first year at Prague City University, and I'm also the business representative on the student council. So now back to you, Anna. All right, we did that very newscast like I like it. Okay, so let me get started. So I'm going to be speaking a bit about the program. So about my program specifically. So creative media production, ignore the hamsters battling in the background sometimes. Um, so basically, I'm going to share my screen now to show you guys kind of just a graphic to go along with some of the points I'm going to be making. All right, so um, the program that I'm in, CNP, Creative Media Production, is basically this catch-all for all things production. You learn a kind of mixture of everything. So you really don't learn just video production or just film production. You learn production in terms of different styles and different platforms. So even for a podcast or audio work or just for media campaigns. It's kind of, it, gener it generally covers a lot of things. You learn how to use a camera, you learn how to write like for scripts and stuff like that. So we started off with that in my first year. You can, you also learn editing. So you also learn to edit your own pro project so that you're able to produce, AKA film them or organize the filming of them and then also edit them at the end. And then you also learn the strategies for distribution and whatnot. We've got a bunch of great professors that I, I would really have to say that for me, these professors have been kind of the nicest professors I've ever had in the way that when you're going through something or you're struggling with something, they're really there to help you. Like, regardless of what the situation is, they really just are there to help you with, along with your way and your learning. Um, it, the grading for, for creative media production is project-based. So typically at the end of every semester, we have some kind of project that we should have done. So uh, first semester, it was an experimental visual, a small experimental vid video. Our second, uh, then in the first year was making a little production of our own. So we got to choose a topic and make a, make a little 10 minute documentary. So just to kind of give you an idea of what I'm talking about, I'm gonna show you my good friend Franklin's um, documentary, which he made about um, his time here as an expat um, during coronavirus and the quarantines as a new student in Prague. So I'll share that with you now, one second. Mucho miedo, pero así lo intenté. Sin embargo, mi sueño muy prontamente se iba a convertir en una gran pesadilla y jamás me imaginé que mi mayor reto estaba a punto de empezar. No tan solo, sin amigos, sin familia cerca, me sentía atrapado en una ciudad tan grande, potente, aterrorizado, solo. That's unfortunately all I'm gonna have time to show you, but um, just to give you an idea of what it was about in as a whole, he made this film after his uh, family was separated from him, from him in Nicaragua, and he was here and basically to, and a member of his family had passed away. 
And so he made this film dedicated to kind of expressing that. And it like the program's very allowing to you to work even in your own languages as long as you provide English subtitles for the professors to be able to like judge it actually um, and these kinds of things. But I'll go back to other visual I have. Um, so that's the primary thing. It's a small class that we, everyone in my class, for example, we've kind of formed a bond. We call ourselves the CMP discombobulators after a professor once called Franklin, the guy who made the video before, a discombobulated gentleman. Um, and we just kind of formed a little community and it's very full of uh, inclusion. And despite our diversities and our backgrounds and the cultures we, we're from, we all just try to help each other out. And like, whenever someone asks for help from our group, we, we all try to come together and provide them with either resources or new ideas on how to solve these things. So that's what I'd say right now about that. And so on with that, I'm gonna pass it over to Ademi. Thank you, Anna. So uh, as I already mentioned, I am a student of graphic design school. So basically we have uh, different directions uh, in Karsidi University. If you are interested more in art, you can go and study art more specifically, but I personally chose uh, studying as a graphic design student. So um, I can show you like uh, my website that I have here. Uh, and so I personally started studying uh, last year, uh, 2020 in February. So I have experienced uh, both online and offline studying. So I personally liked studying in person more, but anyway, um, when you studying graphic design, especially when you have so many projects going on from different areas of design, you don't really have time to think about it. Like, uh, so you just, uh, you are encouraged to do your project. So um, in my class, there are five more students and I think it's like a really nice number of people to study with. So basically it feels like you are studying almost individually, but at the same time you can share your experience and uh, take this experience from other students which are coming from different countries. I really like the thing about, uh, about my program. And uh, so I can show you some stuff that I have here. So these are some of the works that I have done so far. Not all of them are here in my portfolio, but still. And what is interesting about my program, personally, I think is that uh, you can have an experience in working with real clients. For example, this one was made for a uh, coffee roastery, which is based in, based in Prague. And we had this kind of a uh, talk with a client every week and we had to gather some feedback from a person who is um, giving us this uh, assignment. And also I put there some personal projects as well. Uh, these are not part of the program, but because of the thing that uh, our lecturers are giving us opportunity to develop outside of the college as well, I really liked to do some kind of uh, uh, branding design. Uh, this is basically connected to uh, my home country and these are the national ornaments. So what is also interesting is that you can try different areas of design as I already told you. So basically, for example, this one is an example of uh, an agency that we build up with our uh, classmates. And here in this agency, the graphic design agency, we have uh, different areas like web design, motion design, editorial, branding and identity, illustration and photography. So these are the areas that you can uh, study uh, on this program. And also to go to work here, you can see so many different examples. For example, some people are doing illustrations. Uh, some of them are doing uh, 3Ds. And uh, I think this is the coolest thing in this program is that you can try different uh, kind of medias and you can develop in the direction that you really like. Um, yeah, maybe in case if you have more questions, I could answer them. Uh, otherwise, I think uh, that's it from me. Uh, I can 
maybe pass it to Shanoa. Um, okay, thank you so much. Um, so you know a little bit about myself, I'm Shamila. And when I grow up and I graduate from uh, Prague City University, I wanna become a certified tax advisor. But with the help of PCU, the process of actually doing my chartered accounting exams will become much easier. Um, at the moment, we have four classes. We have issues in the contemporary business market, contemporary marketing practices, financial accounting and reporting, um, then also study in the communications class. Now, what's the nice thing about our study and communications class is that, you know, when you first start off going to university, doing a bibliography and going with the Harvard referencing style, it can be quite a challenge. But luckily, we have a specific teacher who will help us with that to actually help us to be able to write better proposals um, and also just perform better in our classes. Uh, recently, we did for our issues in the contemporary business market, we worked with a local Czech glamping company um, and we gave them advice on, you know, how if they want to expand to a different country, the, how they should do, how they should expand. Um, the second project we did for contemporary marketing practices was working with a local restaurant and identifying types of marketing, you know, how they affect, you know, how the Czech market necessarily also affects them. Um, then for the financial accounting and reporting, we did uh, a paper on um, the international financial reporting standards between Hong Kong and the Czech Republic. Uh, we advised two hypothetical companies um, on necessarily, you know, specifics from our course. But what I really like about this is the fact that it's a very hands-on approach. You know, you get to deal with real life situations. You're not necessarily just given a book and said, yeah, you have to learn a whole bunch of different definitions. On top of that, it comes with a lot of freedom, but that also comes with quite a lot of responsibility. You know, um, the school is really great at giving you the opportunity to be able to take matters into your own hands and you know what you put in necessarily is what you'll give out. Um, on top of that, our teachers are also very helpful. Uh, they also have a very insightful approach to the work and also to the projects as well as communication with students. Like the communication is constructive and engaging. Um, another thing that I really enjoy is also the events that I'm able to attend. Like, uh, for example, a couple of months ago, there was a seminar at KPMG and it was really, really insightful. Um, and the amount of students in the class is roughly 20, but I think something to be noted is that um, the international um, financial and business accounting students are actually mixed in with the international management students. It's only in the third year when we go into our specific specializations that we will necessarily split. But up until that point, we're going to be together. So there are around about 20 students in our class at the moment. Um, with all of these projects in mind, you have to do quite a lot of research and you have to be able to think critically. But what's nice about uh, Prague City University is we have an online library from Teesside University as well as one in the Czech Republic. And we also have a physical library. Um, that's pretty much all I have to say about, you know, the international finance and business accounting course. But if there are any questions, I'll be more than happy to answer some of them later. I'll jump uh, I think I'll take it back to Anna. Yeah, I'll jump in right now. Um, uh, so the other um, library, as Jamila mentioned, is actually, I believe, the Academy of Sciences in the Czech Republic Library. So we have access to that as well for any research, research papers. For media production, we mostly have project-based work. So like the video you saw, and then occasionally like an, a small essay on theory or just a report, like a reflection of what the process did and how it helped you. So we're very, like it's heavily project-based. And there's not that much like work outside of the classes. Well, there is quite a bit of work outside of the classes, but like it's in a way that you're, you're making, you know, something you created. So it's also taking pleasure in the process of cr creating something. So, yeah. So otherwise, um, I believe we are probably going to be ready for questions at this point.
All right, we got a couple here. So Shamila, I think you already answered this one, but um, so you want to be an accountant, right? When you're done. So Demi, what do what do you want to do once? Like, what do you want to do once you graduate from PCU? Just to clarify, a certified tax advisor. Tax, yes. Certified tax advisor with a CA. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I'm bad at economics. <laughs> but no, it's ahead. completely fine. It's just maybe if someone in the audience, you know, mm -hmm. missed it, uh, I'd just like to specify it. Yes. So go ahead, Denny. Oh, yeah. So I really plan to become a branding and identity designer mostly. Mm -hmm. and now, as we are finishing our second year, we are on this stage when we are like really working with real clients and it's really exciting part for me because I always thought that yeah I am a student and now I can try to experience as much as much as I can but now we came up with this like part of the period when you have to gather all of the words that you have and then come to the client and be professional enough to show uh, what you are capable of and what can you do so uh, I personally would like to become a branding and identity designer but a cool thing about graphic design I think is that uh, you can always go to another area of graphic design because while you are studying you're not only studying only branding and identity you are studying like editorial motion design UI UX you can also study half of the coding not all not the main part but some specific parts of the coding that can like be creative coding right yeah creative yeah. coding yeah right so like um i really enjoy this part yeah i think that's awesome yeah well for most of the people that i know from my, my course their goal is kind of either to go into journalism which is very easy kind of to do with, with radio journalism from my course and then also some have aspirations in film of course, because it is, we do use cameras and we make little films. And then I'm the weirdo that kind of wants to go into game production afterward. So for me, I'm seeing that, that um, given it's an all-rounded course, it can help you get to whichever production platform you want to go to. So that's kind of what I want to do when I grow up, I guess, from PCU when I rise. Um, and you yeah. And uh, how are your classes assessed? I don't, I think, I'm not sure uh, if both, I know, I know I mentioned mine. Uh, Ademi, how are, how is the graphic design course assessed? Um, I think it's the same as yours. Like we are graded uh, per project. We have a final project at the end of the, every semester, but usually like in one semester we have four classes and sometimes these four classes are divided into two. So basically overall we have six or five projects for one semester and we are graded as like per one project, which is for like simple. And how do you like the studios for the art and design um, course? Oh yeah, actually I forgot to, to mention about it. Thank you. So we have two uh, campuses uh, of our university and like both of them are quite big and they are, uh, they have different equipment for you to use. We can use a printer, we can use different like cameras if we need it. Uh, especially I think for your course, you're usually bring, like- Yeah, we have it. the whole like equipment and the resources at center accessible to us. So a lot, a lot of different cameras from Sony's to lighting setups, to microphones, to a black magic camera, I think is also in there. So just all the, all the shebang. Yeah, so we, we can use this and also we have like uh, special like rooms at the Bishop's Court where we can go and like if you want to have a drawing live session, you can also go there and like we've got pretty much things to do. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Yeah, I think another thing is um, like for as Ademi mentioned for graphic design, the same can be said about creative media production is that we have like some we have the client based work. So I know a bunch of my peers currently are working for the National Institute for Autism here in Czech Republic to create um, a kind of video for them about the authorial theater that they're doing with a, a program that they're doing with the, the individuals there. And then um, some are working for a 
kind of pro more a pro vegetarian and vegan company which is trying to promote le less meat consumption and creating a video for them and uh, I personally was at Ihlaba the International Documentary Film Festival to create stuff there so we're also getting like that client expertise that then is useful just you know a good thing to have on your CV and help you when you get out of university so you're not just looking around like a lost lamb. Uh, and Ademi, would you know anything about the Fine Art Experimental Media Program as well? Um, not really, but in case if you're interested in that, you can contact your student advisor. We can leave a link uh, to I the email. I can send you the email as well, and they can give you more, ex uh, more um, information about that here. So that, and uh, I can tell you a little bit from what I know, but I know that it's a very, um, so it's experimental media, right? So there's just a combination of different things. It's a lot of, um, let's say, exhibition art, um, performance art. They have sculpting, drawing, illustration, painting, 3D animation, um, just a lot of going on there with the possibilities being really endless. And I know that it's, it's a very like unique program and I'm actually very fascinated by it myself since even though I'm not someone who goes there, I've heard good things about it. And I think that they've made some really cool installations and um, at the end of the work of their year, um, they get to have this kind of large exhibition where people from people get to come by and see their work and appreciate it. So there's just a combination of various um, medias being used to create art and then combining it and just seeing what like what the limits of art are and how they can push them so it's there some of them are even interactive and I believe there's also a segment on performance art specifically so that's what I do know about the fine uh, the fine art experimental media one and um yeah I believe there um are also images of some of the former installations and um uh, if you message to admissions they can give you even more details than I can I hope that helped. Okay, just a moment here. Do we have any more questions? I don't think so. Um, also, just to say a couple of things in terms of um, the curriculum. So I previously lived in Dubai and I grew up like I went from IB to British to American to British again to IB again to American and now back to British. So I've done quite a bit of curriculum jumping in my experience and um, I just say that I quite appreciate this it's so, so called ICA like in class assignment which are a project based um like method of grading because it's it gives you a lot more freedom and it's with two graders that analyze your project so two, two people typically read them and it gives you a lot more I guess to me a, a better understanding of maybe what was wrong because you you get written feedback unlike in other curriculums, I would just get, okay, 77 out of 100, you have a B. So here it's just more really number based and then certain levels mean certain things. So I think that the British curriculum for this specific university is quite well made in terms of I enjoy the way it's the school works and the programs work. And I think with that, we can probably wrap up. So I'm glad that everyone when he was here and I'm glad that I got to Hear the girls here with me uh, speak and whatnot. And I hope you guys learned something about a potential program or I helped at least you find a contact for someone who can help you further. <laughs> but thank you everyone for being here. Yeah, thank you for also hosting. It was really nice to be able to participate in the event.